How's it going, guys? Dom here with Dom's Vlogs. Now, it's time for me to talk about this video. Now, it's not going to be a review, so to speak, like any other people like that are a critic, but I, I personally want to make this review for a reason. Normally, I can be a bit angry at, of different shows and stuff, but I now with most of my top fives coming up, I'm probably going to be more careful of what I say. But... This one, I'm not going to be careful of what I say. I'm going to have pure anger because this is talking about something very important for anybody that has a disability. No joke. I basically don't like the little clowns of Happy Town. First of all, it's about a, it's about a group of clowns. And due to the animation, it looks terrifyingly creepy. I mean, it's standard for the air anyways. It's better than the 70s, but that's not saying much. Um, the... The episode we're going to be looking at is titled, I Can Do It, which is basically talking about their, uh, this is the episode talking about disabilities. So the first part, now, you guys are going to have to image this in your head somehow, or even look at the Mysterious Mr. Entrance review because he's done it, but I want to do it in my kind of speak. There was a kid named Rodney that actually had his last test to become a lifeguard, and he's also a handicap. He's, uh, he's a handicapped kid that is a lifeguard. This is going to be one of these episodes where, where the disability, the person with a disability is an inspiration for the able. I'm already like a couple of seconds into this and I'm already pissed off. And then there was not even a good joke or two. Like, but okay, so we're going to move on. So there was, going, there was a telescope into the water or the river or lake, whatever it is. And no matter what it is, there is a villain that actually is, like, uh, spying on the kids. Um, and, uh, funny thing is, this character looks like Dick Dastardly. Not Richard Dastardly, Dick Dastardly. I remember Dick Dastardly. What an animation back then. But this guy's name, this tiny little guy, is named Awful B. Bad. Of course it is. And just like any guy who, who actually is Rick, or is Dick Dastardly, we'll put his middle name Dick Richard Dastardly. He has two very cliched henchmen, so, so to speak. And do you even know how stereotyped people who talk like this are are portrayed as idiots? They, th I know this show was from a different time, but I wish this, I, I wish this cartoon wasn't so offensive on that. I'm not an offensive person. I'm basically a nice kid. Back with the little clowns, they basically want to teach the other kids to swim, which, which basically they don't know how to swim. And they're thinking, like the clown, the other clown that is a handicap says, what if you can't swim? What, what are you going to do next? Uh, find someone who can. And if you don't think there's anything else, they have a song for it. The only basic thing you can do in any sort of emergency is learn to swim or find someone who can swim. Because even though, yes, throwing a lifesaver is pretty good, but the rowboat thing is going to be hard if you don't have the strength to actually pull the, uh, the paddle to, to push you forward to the, uh, to the boats. Then they say one little thing. Like, I want to know, what the hell is wrong with you? I don't give a shit. If you, like, if you, into no circumstances, go into the water yourself, that will happen is that you will both drown. Like, are you even, like, researching stuff? There's a problem where, like, like you got to learn just, like, here's, here's, here's my solution for you guys that need to help, help anybody in the emergency uh, inside, of, inside the water. Learn to swim as quickly as possible. And don't forget, teach your kids to swim. There are some classes where, like, you can teach infants to swim. So... As, as far as we know, we got a rich corporate guy into the uh, awfully bad. Basically wants to tear the summer camp down for, for uh, handicapped people for, I think, something... I forgot what he was going to do. I think it was going to be a resort. Probably without wheelchair access because he's evil. And, and he announces the evil boy's nephew, Billy. Which looks like somewhat of a cowboy from the old western times. But then the, um, what else, what else was there? Yeah. It's hard to remember. I hadn't looked at Entrance Review a lot lately. 
but we're gonna go straight to the ice cream parlor where like the clowns are actually like like random clown number I think number two and Rodney basically are in the ice cream parlor drinking milkshakes as usual the standard old glass milkshakes then Billy comes in telling the kids that the that this place is gonna close down when actually they don't know how to close it down which they probably would not even know that then this makes no sense Billy says well I wouldn't say Billy but I mean like Rodney here says you and I have a lot in common we both have disabilities I can't walk and you can't be nice okay I, I feel like that almost makes me want to smash my tablet right here and slam my fist in my phone but I don't want to do that because I'm starting to try to calm down a little bit but being mean is a disability now I can get it in a in a, in a sense that you're an asshole but what the living hell that does not make no sense a disability actually makes you stop from being able to do a thing like his stops me be able to do a thing your stops being able to do a thing like what the living hell and and, and I can understand like his disability he can't walk I can get understand that but you can't be nice that doesn't make any sense unless you have like in like somewhat of like explosive anger disorder like that that's terrible I remember that there was only one kid that got arrested for that and actually murdered someone uh, that was in the that was I think in top 10 top 5 like like murderous kids but going back to this um, there's this character called hiccups which eventually tells the other clowns that the camp was gonna close down um, but she hiccups quite a lot I think this is like kind of like a disability where you're trying to disability like I think this is like a joke for disabilities about constant stutterers which is pissing me off even more because constant stutterers although I basically Basically, I can understand them, and I can understand what they're going through between stuttering. But when you got an asshole these days just saying, I'm sorry, but I can't hear you, sucker. What do you can't, What happened? You can't, you can't cat cut your tongue or something? Like, I'm like, dude, he or she is a constant stutterer. Like, are you kidding me? How do you like it if you became a constant stutterer? You would like to be made fun of. And, I, and if, he, if he doesn't care, I'd be like, keep it moving, man. I would say that. Keep it moving. I'd help a person like that. But this this doesn't show how well a constant stutter is. It's not even that funny. So the clowns feel like they're gonna put up a show for the for the for the for the out for the kids' um, parents here. And then we and then we focus into Rodney's mom, which basically is very scared of his son Rodney and think that he actually can't do anything. And I'm pissed now. Well fuck you, show. I'm me, and that's a recognized disability here. So you better cut off my back because I will come after you. But to be fair, my disability isn't a physical one. It's basically autism. And it, I wouldn't say that I really had a tough time as anybody in a wheelchair. That would be preposterous. But if they need help, that's what they need. If, if a parent can't know that, then they got their own disability. I think a neurological disability is diagnosed late in life. I think I was diagnosed maybe around four or five when I was in, I think, preschool or kindergarten. Or when I was in, no, I, I was in first grade when that happened, and then I had to still kind of deal with all the shit, but I learned how to handle it in my own way. Of course, I still, like, you know, I shut down, I start not talking to a lot of people because, well, I don't like starting conversations. I feel like I need to breathe and, like, not talk about this stuff anymore until I really am ready to talk about it. But this this show basically portrays disabilities as bullshit. Like disabilities can be very serious, very very serious. Like you have to take care of your people, your, your your like kids, and the people you love. That includes family and friends. Like I have like I think. I have a friend that, which I think basically he is a constant stutter. His name is Alex. He is he is my greatest friend. We both agree that pre movie and also the new post movie that Hillenburg came back in for SpongeBob was really really good. But the other stuff with I don't know Casey Alexander, Zeus Service, and Richard Purcell were bullshit and just completely stupid. I just hated it. 
I we all hated that those episodes. I started like to like go back to like whoever created these episodes. Like the only episode I hated was the uh, the fleas. Like that part where Sandy actually had a flea on on his on her arm. Yes, I'm stalling, but when you actually like when you actually like putting a disability and saying that it's nothing. Like first first of all, we don't know how Rodney became paralyzed, and we all know how Joe became paralyzed. He was shot in the line of duty. Eh, line of duty. But yeah, for the bottom of my heart for this show, fuck you. Because that's just awful. In, in the middle of the night, awful be bad name. And his group tried to destroy the camp. They put a spicy chili in the girl's cabin, which didn't work. And then, wait, so later, Billy starts to steal somewhat of, like, camp equipment. And, uh, uh, and then we started everything go downhill. And also, you left your person in the wheelchair all alone where there's actually dirt, muck, Bugs and bees everywhere. And I mean, like, literally, I feel like everything is just so terrible in this in this show. And nobody asks for your opinion. Nobody wants your opinion. As far as I know, like, the Billy can't even swim, so he did gets dunked in the lake. So does, so, so this is like, uh, I think his cousin, so to speak. I don't even know what that rich corporate guy's name is. I don't even know what it is for family members. You know me. I don't know it yet. So basically, Rodney goes ahead, swims through, and then swims behind, swims like away from the lifeboats, which are basically like right there, and just goes back to the, uh, to the plate. I don't even know what to call that, the stand or something where the boats and ships go. But seriously, the boats are right there. And then, and then like, everything's happy again. But Rodney doesn't even know what a disability is. A disability is basically that you actually, like, actually don't have the current the thing to do stuff. I think like it's like you're unable to do stuff is the name I'm trying to go for here. This is basically the not able in there. And then ability is basically able to do stuff. I mean literally the people that inspire me, yes my friend Alex, but there's also people, Mysterious Mr. Enter. He was diagnosed late in life after he graduated high school. He was diagnosed for Asperger's and that inspired me so much he inspired me to become, like, a critic, so to speak. And and also there was, like, another guy, um, Sesame Street. They actually have an autistic uh, Muppet, which I actually think was pretty good and a very good idea because people need to learn about uh, the autism so that you can actually understand it. Your very basic bullying of autism is basically social, de social development because you're not able to, like, you know, deal with anything different, so to speak. I mean, I'm not basically, I mean, I, my autism is not that bad, but this is kind of the stuff that inspired me. Not this petty bullshit back in like, what, 80s, early 80s, late 80s, I don't even know. I'm just thinking that's from the 80s. It's very terrible, it's very disgusting to look at, and I got so pissed off. I'm not as pissed off like I actually scream, because I actually can la I can scream as loud as possible and it won't make a difference, but... I just hope the next time I'm going to be talking about this, I just like, this video is just going to be talk, talking about the Little Clowns of Happy Town episode, I can do it, because I'm just tired. And hey, for anybody who has a disability, just ask your parents, how, you, how can you handle your disability? Or at least look it up online if you can. I gotta say, there's a lot of people that inspire me that have disabilities. And maybe I'll get to that in another video, so... Stay scary, and I'll see you next time.